The Cedarburg Cultural Center would like to welcome Ruchita Varma as an October uh, artist in residence this month. Um, well, we're happy to have you, Ruchita. Thanks for coming. Thank you. <laughs> Can you start by uh, telling us a little bit about what media you work in and what the focus of your current artwork is? Sure. This is uh, called block printing, and it's um, it's it's an art that is made using blocks, hand carved wood blocks, and I make prints out of those on scarves, on baby items, cards, stationery, and it's pretty much like stamping but it's using teak wood blocks. I also do a lot of hand dyeing with it. Well, beautiful work. Thank you. So who are your inspirations and what is it about art that really excites you? I think I would say my mom is my inspiration who is not an artist, but she has found something that she loves to do. She works with special needs children and uh, she is just passionate about what she does and she's found her calling. And I think that helped me decide what I really want to do in life. And it was art, create something that gives me happiness. And it hopefully gives other people happiness just looking at it or wearing one of the scarves. And I think that is what really excites me about art, that there's so much freedom and happiness in it, which you get while creating and which other people get by looking at it. Mm. So what made you want to be an artist in the first place? And why do you do what you do today? It's interesting because I was not an artist. Initially, I was an architect. I was trained as one, I was educated as one, I worked as one for many years. But um, um, I just was not very excited about it. And then when I had my boys, I decided I wanted to work from home. And I think art uh, is something that gives me that freedom to do that. And this is something, this is an art form of India which I learned in school when I was in my seventh and eighth grade. So my craft teacher is going to be super proud of me for actually picking it up. And I decided to do it and see how it goes and, and people have liked it so I'm continuing to do it. Wonderful. You mentioned a little bit about your background as an architect. Mm -hmm. uh, what other kind of career, career preparation did you have? Um, were there other things that prepared you for your career today? I think just uh, the, the art classes in school which I think we don't give a lot of importance to, but somewhere along the way it teaches you a lot in life. For me that was, because this is where I learned when I was 12 or 13, and I decided to pick it up again so many years later and try to make uh, a life for me with that. So I think that it's important. Those art classes are super important. And we don't give it importance, but I think they, they are, and they help you out in life. I agree. So what have been some of your successes along the way, and what have been some of your obstacles? I'll start with the obstacle first, only because I think luckily for me in my short career as an artist um, so far, it's been just trying to make it commercially viable, which I think a lot of artists face. Um, it's an ongoing process where you make something beautiful and you hope other people like it, and you can actually make a livelihood out of it. And um, as for the successes, I would say just the fact that I create something in my little studio at home and I put it out there and people like it and they appreciate it and that has been my biggest success. So how do you continue to challenge yourself as an artist? I think just every day I, I, I try to create different things, different designs and I get motivated whenever I make something and I'm like, wow, did I do that? And that just makes, gives me so much happiness that I think that kind of tells me that do more. There's so much more that you can do out of this simple little block and this fabric in front of you, that it just, it motivates me to keep doing more and more and creating different things, which I haven't even thought of, so. And what are your dreams and plans for the future? I think my practical dream would be to make a livelihood out of this. You know, if I can support myself financially through this, that would be my dream come true, because I love what I do. And um, I think as, dream uh, plans go, I just want to continue doing this, uh, meet more and more creative uh, people, like in this place at Cedarburg, I've met so many already, continue to meet them and just, you know, learn from them and exchange ideas and just grow as an artist. Wonderful. Well, thank you again for being here this month. It was great having you. Thank you so much. It's been really fun.